from the spectacular Trump Castle in world-famous Atlantic City, it's time to play television's non-stop game of knowledge, Trump Card. And now, here's the star of Trump Card, Jimmy Sapolo. Trump card after all, we're back at the Trump Castle in Atlantic City. Competition is king around here. We have three contestants who are ready to challenge each other today for over $15,000 in cash and a chance to win that $100,000 in the Trump Card Championship. Let's play Trump Card, everybody. Before we meet today's contestants, please say hello to our Trump Card hostess, Miss Debbie Massey. Hi, Debbie. All right, thanks, Debbie. Now let's meet today's contestants. Contem contestant number one from Bridgewater, New Jersey, Joan Franco, correct? That's right. That's a right. sales associate. What do you sell, jo Joan? Well, it's uh, leasing for AT&T. Oh, I see. So we lease equipment? Yes, telephones. All right, well, hopefully after the program, you'll have enough money to, to, uh, to take a little vacation from your sales job. Steve Snow from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, an opera singer who wasn't always into opera, you were into heavy metal at one, one time? Well, yeah. How do you but... make the crossover from heavy metal to opera? <laughs> well, it, it was over about 10 years. So it, it was a growth period for me. A growth period? Yes. Okay, well, the best of luck on the program Thanks. to you. And Huey Faunin, That's, is that correct, Huey? That's correct, yeah. From Brooklyn, New York, a waterproofer. Now, I understand, I've been told, I always usually ask the questions on this show. I understand you have a question you'd like to ask someone. That's right, Jimmy. There's a lady in the audience. She's the love of my life, and I'd like to ask her, Colleen, will you be my wife? Uh, Colleen, I, I think there are, three, there are three choices here. You can answer one of three ways. There is yes, there's no, and there's maybe. We need one of the three. Okay. Okay, she said... Congratulations. Thank you, Jimmy. Julian Colleen, congratulations. That's terrific. The best of luck to you in the marriage. The show is completely secondary. A You're a winner already. All right, let's play the game. Here's how we play our contest. Each of our contestants have their own trump card, and the object of the game is to cover all 15 numbers on their card by answering questions correctly. First player to do so can win over $5,000, plus the chance to win the $10,000 trump card bonus. Now, players, you can win round number one and 750 bucks in cash by being the first to cover all four corners of your card, and you'll do so by answering questions in the following category. And they are Oscar winners, front plays, hotels and motels, people foods, foods named after people, and seven questions and answers containing the number seven. Each category contains four questions, and a correct answer will cover a corner on your card and give you the right to choose the next category. If you give me a wrong answer, then you'll be blocked out of the next question. And Steve, you won the draw backstage, I believe? Yes, I did, Would Jimmy. you please choose our first category, then? I think I'll go with seven. All right, everybody, hands on buzzers. May the best player win, and here we go. This 1958 TV series featured glamorous private eyes and a jive-talking, hair-combing character named Kooky. Give their address, and you name the show, Steve. 77 Sunset Strip. That is correct. We cover number 16 on your card. Good start. Um, I'll stick with seven. This group of defendants were charged with disrupting the 1968 Democratic National Convention. What were they called? Huey. Chicago 7. The Chicago 7 is right, yes. i try people foods, please. This sandwich of corned beef, Swiss cheese, and sauerkraut on rye bears the name of the man who created it. Name it, Huey. A Reuben. A Reuben sandwich is right, yes. People foods again, Jimmy. Named for an Italian opera singer, it's a dish made with thin spaghetti, cheese, mushroom sauce, chicken, or turkey. Name the singer, you name the dish. <whistles> tetrazzini, chicken tetrazzini. That is the answer we needed. We move on to our next category, which is seven. In a well-known story in the Arabian Nights, what sailor went on seven voyages, Huey? Sinbad. Sinbad did. We cover number 41. Another correct answer. You'll win that 750 bucks. Jimmy, I'd like to try front, please. First time in the category. This motel chain took its name from a 1942 Bing Crosby movie and is now the largest in the world. Name it. Joan. Holiday Inn? Yes, and you're on the board. We cover number one on your card. Oscar winners? 
First time in this category. In 1984, this royal sounding rocker won an Oscar for his musical score to Purple Rain. Name this lavender Prince. lad, Joan. Prince. Prince is the correct answer. Yes, we cover number five. And uh, you have two correct answers in a row. Please choose for us again. Oscar winners. He won back-to-back -back Oscars for his portrayal of a newspaper editor in All the President's Men and as a writer in Julia. Name him. Steve. Robert Redford. No, sorry. Jason Robards, the correct answer. You're blocked out of the next question. We continue on to front, please. This question just to Joan and Huey. After years of tending to European royalty, the name of this Parisian hotel became synonymous with elegance. Name it. Joan. The Ritz. The Ritz is right. Yes, right now we have a tie between Joan and Huey. One correct answer between the two of you and you'll win the money. Steve, you're back into it. And Joan, you choose. People Foods. One fruit takes its name from the Massachusetts merchant who gained fame distributing it. Name that pear. Joan for the win. Bartlett pear. Bartlett pear is correct. Yes, congratulations, Joan. After a great start by Huey, Joan got back into it. That's all four corners. That's 750 bucks. You get to keep that regardless of what happens the rest of the day. Stay tuned in just a moment. We're going to double the prize money to $1,500 in round number two. We're here to celebrate a different way to eat Jell-O gelatin. With our bare hands. All we need, cookie cutters, this easy recipe, and we've got jigglers. Jiggle, 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 bone jigglers. Jiggle, 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 bone jigglers. <laughs> the recipe's on the box. Jigglers, they're a handful of fun. Hey, put that back. <laughs> Hello? Hi, honey. I just checked in. Hey, Drake, give me a break. That's Learn 88. And now, round two of Trump Card with your host, Jimmy Suffolo. In case you're just joining us, Joan has $750. Huey has a date at the altar. You never know what's going to happen on this show. Now we move to round number two. $1,500 is at stake to the first contestant to cover the five numbers across the center line. Right now, Debbie is giving each of our contestants a special trump card, and beginning with this round, the players can use this card to block the progress of one of their opponents. Now, you can only play your card, players, after you give a correct answer. You only have one card. We still have two rounds to go and lots of money to give away. So play it wisely, please. And players, if you win the game and still have this card left over at the end, we'll give you an extra advantage going into the bonus round. Now, here are the categories for round number two, and they are Back to the Past, that is our history category, Dynamic Duos, Entrepreneurs, and letter perfect. All the questions or answers have to do with letters. Each category contains five questions. And Joan, since you won the first round, please choose for us. Jimmy, I like uh, Back to the Past. He was born into.